basic guide and complete guide regarding sponsorship of your spouse or common law partner or conjugal partner or a child so if you watched my previous videos you know that there is two guide basic guide and complete guide they have many informations you need to apply and help you to apply for the sponsorship and as I said in my previous video that I will go through those two guides but for sure not in details because there is many details but I will just talk about the most important and overview of both guides but I encourage you guys and I advise you guys it's very very important to read every single details in those both guides because it's very important so first basic guide as you see here it's there is what is the subjects you can find in this guide so before you start you need to know like introduction about what is basic guide about and what the information that this basic guide will provide to you what it means to sponsor someone so here they talk more about what does it mean to sponsor someone and the most important in this part is the undertaking and the financial support of the sponsor to the principal applicant and we already talked about this before that the sponsor must be able to support their principal applicants financially so they don't need any social support from the Canadian government who can become a sponsor so here what is the criteria to be a sponsor the age if you are citizenship resident outside Canada inside Canada who can't become a sponsor also this is important what things that make you not able to be a sponsor who you can sponsor so here they talk more about spouse and what is the criteria of being a spouse of common law partner conjugal partner children biometrics which is the fingerprint and photo what is the requirements for this so when to give your biometrics where to give your biometrics so where to give biometrics and when to give your biometrics uh, the government already will send you a letter to book appointment to give your uh, biometrics sponsor living in a Quebec as we said before in previous video if you live in a Quebec you have additional application you need to provide for your sponsorship get your application package already we talked about this and we already saw how to check the checklist and how to fill different forms so here fill out your forms gather your documents also it's very important that all the documents that are required in your checklist you need to collect all the requirements and the documents in appropriate way and here they describe details about this country specific requirements already we talk also about this like it depends what is your origin of country and where you live now there is specific requirements it depends police certificate how to get the police certificate if you are inside Canada from outside Canada the validity of the police certificate check your application to avoid common mistakes regarding the children if they born to Canadian citizen born in Canada born outside Canada 
representative if you want to authorize representative marriage certificate proof of identity documents okay so there is different informations in this application we already when I was talking in my previous videos about how to fill your application we were talking about different notes like for example any field is not applicable you have to mention not applicable or in a uh, for like the name given names it means all the names in your passport family name it's your last name we talked about also the validation button. We talked that application to sponsor, sponsorship agreement and undertaking, and generic application both will generate a barcode. We will see now how the barcode looks like. And schedule A, which is background, there is a validation button, but there is no barcode. It doesn't generate any barcode. So the barcode pages, it looks like this. So after you do validation, you will see extra pages in your form have this barcode. But for schedule A background, no. It's only validation and it mentioned yes and that's it. There is no barcode. For signature, it's very important to check the signature. And there is the application that you need to write your name, type your name on the computer then you do the validation then you sign so this application also is very important for the address you need to mention your address in details without any abbreviation email address is very important because the government will communicate with you through this Pay your fees. Submit your application package. So for to submit your application package, since it's a work, it's a paper work. So then you need to send it by mail, and it depends on the type of the sponsorship. There is different addresses to send your application regarding the work permit open work permit i will talk in another video a separate video about open work permit okay there is here very very important note the order of documents should be as following so checklist Open work permit application and all the supporting documents if applicable. Then any barcode pages, you put all the barcode pages and then supporting documents in the order they are listed on the checklist. This is very, very important, guys. You have to organize your application package in this way. The checklist, which is a cover page for your application, then you put the open work permit application and all supporting documents and then the barcode pages you put them underneath and then the supporting documents and the forms and everything according to the checklist so here as you see there is different addresses it depends how you send your application Application for a spouse or common law partner currently living in Canada applying under the spouse or common law partner in Canada class. So this is the address to send your application package. Here application for a spouse, common law partner or conjugal partner outside Canada. Here outside Canada. Application for spouse, common law partner, or conjugal partner currently living outside Canada and all dependent children sponsorship. This is if you want to apply or send your application through a courier service, not by mail. So, if you see, this is 
the mailing address outside Canada inside Canada and this is courier service outside Canada inside Canada so after you submit your application how to communicate with IRCC the medical exam they will send you also a letter when they review your application how to proceed with the medical exam and it's very important here once you get a request for a medical exam you must print and the instruction for each person make sure to bring the form to the exam for each person and do the medical exam within 30 days of medical instruction being issued to you important notice Definition, what does it mean? Sponsor, principal applicant, spouse, etc. Okay, this is also very, very important, the photo specification. So for your sponsorship application, you need to provide two photos. And those two photos have certain measurements and certain criteria. So as you see, the photograph must be so you see here what is the criteria of the photograph you need to submit with your application and there is very important that the place you will go to take your photograph must be aware of those measurements and you will have two photographs one you will write on the back your name and the date of birth and the date you took the photograph and the name and the address of photograph studio this is only on one photograph and the second photograph you keep it without any information as you see the back of one photo must bear the name and date of birth of the subject as well as the name and complete address of the photograph studio bear the date the photograph was taken the photographer may use a stamp or hand write this information so the place maybe have a stamp for this or handwrite this information stick on label are unacceptable so that's it for the basic guide regarding complete guide you will see repetition of many informations but in the complete guide there is more details about how to fill your form in details so let's go to complete guide complete guide so as you see there is different informations here in details about sponsorship application so you need to read all those information because it's very important for your application and as I mentioned, the complete guide, it's more details than basic guide, especially regarding how to fill your forms. And I covered those notes in my videos, but it's better if you read and you become more aware. So because this is a lot of information here, I tried to make a summary for the most important informations you need to know about complete guide but again you need to read it well so let's go to my notes so first note type all of your given names first second or more as they appear on your passport or travel documents even if the name is misspelled do not use initials so we already mentioned this in previous videos that given names doesn't mean you're just first name given names mean you have to mention first name second name whatever except the last name which is the family name common law this means that you have lived continuously with your partner in a martial type relationship for a minimum of one year street name if applicable do not use abbreviation where so you need for the address you need to mention full address without any abbreviation except for the direction
complete your form once the application is completed click on the validate button locate at the bottom or the top of the form this generate bar code as you see this is the bar code When you pay your fees, do not exit without printing the receipt. The printed receipt is your proof of payment. The only acceptable form of payment is online payment. If you send any other form of payment, our IRCC will return your application. If you do not include all the requested forms and documents listed on the checklist, we will return your application without processing it. If you are unable to submit an item on the documented checklist, you must include a detailed explanation of why you can't submit this document so that your application is not returned as an incomplete. So as we mentioned, any point that you can't provide the accurate or the requested documents you need to write explanation letter and provide other information that can cover or support your application if there are one or more section of your checklist which do not apply to you write not applicable or in a in the margin of each of these section on your checklist Check the country specific requirements to see if you need to submit any original documents. If the country specific requirements tell you that you must submit an original document instead of a copy, you must submit the original or we will return your application. Police certificates are generally valid for one year from the date they are issued. Depending on the processing time, we may ask you for a new certificate. Again, if you don't provide the above police certificate with your application, you must submit a detailed explanation of why not and when you expect to be able to submit them. This will likely delay the processing of your application. So, for example, if you applied for the police certificate, but it takes long time and you want to submit your sponsorship application, so you can write explanation letter that you submitted your request for police certificate on the date you mentioned the date and you are waiting a response from the embassy or whatever the institution and once it's available you will provide the police certificate and you can provide a proof from the embassy or any institution that yeah you submitted a request for the police certificate So validate your form as we mentioned that IMM1344 and IMM308 you will generate a barcode after, after validation and schedule a background you will generate you can do validation but without generation any barcode. After you validate the forms to generate barcodes print the form then the applicable client must sign the form in ink. Unsigned forms will not be accepted. Here the total number of years of formal education that you have completed, including elementary and secondary school. So we mentioned this in the form that you need to mention the total education years elementary and secondary and if you went to the university to the college background form give details of your personal history since the age of 18 or the past 10 years whichever is the most recent start with the most recent information under job activity title position write your occupation or job title if you were working be specific when you are describing your job occupation or other activities. So they have example for us. There is no gap in time regarding your address history and do not use PO box. Very, very, very important. So for your application, as we mentioned before, there is a way of organizing your 
application you need to put first the checklist second the open work permit application then the barcode pages and then the rest of the forms and documents in, or in order according to the checklist and there is very important note that do not use staples binders plastic sleeves folders or albums to submit your application elastic bands for photos or paper clips are acceptable so it's better to put all, all of your application just in order don't use any staples binders plastic sleeves folders albums you can just use elastic band or paper clip for your photos do not lose you can put it on paper or something like this but your application is just papers organized papers you don't use any other stuff to organize your application if the government send you any request any note um, or any inquiry you need to answer for those requests within the time frame they provided to you so for example if they ask you to provide your biometric by one month and they give you a certain date so you need to be you not you have to provide the request within the time frame they provide to you or before the deadline so once you get a request for a medical exam sorry you must print the form and the instruction for each person make sure to bring the form to the exam for each person do the medical exam within 30 days of medical instruction being issued to you this is very 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 important here things that delay the processing of your application on clear photocopies verification of your information and documents medical condition criminal or security problem consultation interview it depends sometimes they ask you for interview sometimes not during an interview an officer may ask the principal applicant about the relationship with the sponsor education level reason for immigration plans and preparing family health financial situation sorry financial situation past difficulties So for common law partner, since we are talking about sponsorship of common law partner, so means a person who has been living in a conjugal relationship with another person, opposite or same gender, continuously for at least one year. Conjugal relationship exists when there is a significant degree of commitment between two people. To show that you are in a common law relationship, submit a proof that you share the same home, support each other financially and emotionally have the children together if applicable present yourselves in public as couple this is the proof of common law partner relationship photo specification already we talked about this there is there is certain criteria and on the back of one of the photos you must mention your name date of birth the address and the date the address of the photography the day that the photography was taken and this can be by stamp or it can be by it can be by stamp or it can be uh, handwritten but it's not a, a, it's not okay to use a sticker so that's it for the complete guide the rest information is about if you live in a cubic i will do another video for if you live in a cubic what you need to provide so that's it for the complete guide again guys please read basic guide and complete guide in details and if you have any question you can write your question in the comment section below i will try to respond to your question and like my video if you like it and subscribe if you would like to know 
more and more about the beautiful Canada. Thank you.